We start with new developments in the tragedy on a Santa Fe movie set. Alec Baldwin held the gun that fired the shot that killed a woman on the Rust movie set last October. But now he's officially saying he holds no responsibility. In these newly filed court documents, Alec Baldwin makes the argument he is not the one to blame for the tragic shooting on the Rust movie set outside Santa Fe, even though he held the gun that shot and killed cinematographer Helena Hutchins and wounded director Jill Souza. Two things are clear, the court filing states. Someone is culpable for chambering the live round that led to this horrific tragedy, and it is someone other than Baldwin. The trigger wasn't pulled. I didn't pull the trigger. Baldwin has spoken several times about the fatal shooting that happened while he was rehearsing a scene with the Rust crew last October. She was my friend. She was my friend. But this is the first time he's ever denied any responsibility. Baldwin is now demanding arbitration with film producers to hold him harmless for the deadly shooting, pointing to a clause in his contract he claims clears him of any responsibility for any losses, liabilities, or claims connected to the Rust production. Baldwin is an actor, the filing states. He didn't announce that the gun was cold when it really contained a live round. We're pursuing justice every way we can in, in the sense of going through this process together. Helena Hutchins' husband, Matthew, recently told the Today Show's Hoda Kotb he is disappointed with how Baldwin has reacted to the shooting. Hutchins has since filed a lawsuit identifying Baldwin as a defendant. In Baldwin's court filing, we also learned he considered finishing Rust and sharing some of the profits with the Hutchins family.